Ten toes, that's my MO. Stay ready in the building. You're getting it in today, man. Oh boy, his truck about as dirty as mine. Oh man, boy, this weather in Georgia. Hey, your setup about as dirty as mine. Man, you can't keep them. You can't keep them clean because all this rain and stuff we getting, man. Stay ready in the building. Hey, we out here at Mannheim, Atlanta, Buffington Road. Uh, it's like what nine o'clock, nine fifteen, something like that. I left the house early, man. I left the house about six thirty. Got out here. Uh, tell the people what we doing, man. Making money. <laughs> you right about that. Hey, we headed to Birmingham, Alabama. Both of us. Uh, I'm picking up a trash body, uh, the body of a trash truck. I'm gonna set it on there. It's gonna be some freight. Uh, bringing it back to Monroe, Georgia area. A guy hit my channel, hit my Facebook page on the Ten Toes Facebook page, and uh, coincidence, he had a what was F two fifty, I think. Yep. F two fifty in uh, Birmingham as well. Yep. So had I had a tow truck or something, I could have done. Yeah, he just ripped the damn whole front end off. He must finna do that. Tow yeah, dolly, take it off. that tow train or whatever, and take them mugs, Mexico somewhere. Man, I don't know how they drive down the road with well, no, with, man, bro, with no consequences, repercussions, or nothing, man. Do. It look like they just float. Yeah, but um, but yeah, so dude hit me, said he had an F two fifty in Birmingham, and I said, well, damn, I ain't got the capacity for it right now, uh, and I didn't want to take the forty foot. I just don't want to put that thing back on this truck. So, uh, uh, so I said, well, damn, let me ho holler at, stay ready. And we worked something out with the customer, and uh, he moved some stuff around. We got a real efficient setup we got this morning. So uh, we both in a rundown in Birmingham in a little mini convoy. Just better that way, man, safer when you got a friend in case something happens. And then we both going to load up. He going to get the car. I'm going to get the uh, trash body. They're like 20 minutes apart, about 18, 20 minutes apart. But we'll meet back up, probably get some lunch, and, uh, and do it like that. And, and, and like you said, make a little money, right? Let's get it, man. We'll catch back up with y'all probably in roughly two to three hours uh, when we pull up on our locations. All right, y'all, we done made it out here. This is what we picking up. This, uh, I want to say they told me it was a 13 yard trash body. Uh, height is good, length is good. The width is borderline. Uh, them ramps come off right there, but even if you take them off, you still got this piece. So it's right, it's a little over eight foot six. I think I measured like eight foot 10 or something like that. So potentially a couple of inches over the, you know, width requirements, but still miniature enough in stature where maybe nobody won't bother me and uh, give me a hard time. Got to figure out, I'm not sure how they're going to load it. Uh. I don't know, we'll see that here shortly. But uh, I thought it would have already been loaded, but uh, I mean, not loaded, but like up in the air, cause I think they got a crane in there. But I don't know, we'll see. Oh, they're gonna use this big boy. That is a massive fork lift. I think if we um, center the green one, put most of it on the flat part and push it back a little bit, we might be able to put that bottom piece at the back that I showed y'all on the back. I don't know. Matter of fact, no, that's too far up. We're just gonna have to use some wood. Yeah, that's too far back. We just gotta do some wood. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. That ain't gonna work use some wood like they use right here and level it out put some straps on it and go on down the road with it got a flipper in it some boxes 
Yeah. That green is nice, man. All right, y'all, we got the thing loaded. We uh we had it loaded forward earlier. Then we decided to push it back a little bit, give me more weight over the tires. Uh, the tailgate section, this is the tailgate, is uh, definitely heavier than that piece. We used a uh, one chain, two binder method. Um, far as I know, that's still legal. So, um, we got the chain going on itself. Y'all seen me do this before. Pulling into the hook, going out. So, it's sturdy, sucker. Ain't going nowhere. Rock the whole, flip the whole trailer over for it to come off. Uh, this took an hour, right at an hour to load it. Well, loading it didn't take long. It was chaining and strapping it. Cause one thing is, this chain, I got these smaller chains cause I don't really haul big stuff. And uh, the hook was not big enough to go through there. Otherwise, you know, I could have just hooked it and tied up the excess chain. So I got to get some either bigger hooks or bigger chains all together. Uh, that'll be something probably for Red Dog. But uh, we got it loaded and now we finna hit this road back. It's probably about three and a half hours. We do have to find some lunch. Stay Ready is picking up the truck, the F-250, and it's turning into a little bit of a clusterfuck. So if I can catch up with him, we'll explain what we got shaking. Uh, hopefully he's not too far ahead of me, but uh, we'll see. So I'll catch back up with y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, we got our first issue. Tired of them blew out. I think I hit a hit a curb and uh I don't know might have did a little damage to it and then just blew out brake brake drum and all that looks good I'm gonna get my jack out I just hope it'll lift it up out of this thing so got so much weight on it I'm not sure that it will. I might have to call them and bring the service truck, give me a bottle jack or something. Have to see. Let me give it a shot. Stand by. So I'm about to take it off and I ain't got my damn sockets. I got my gun, impact gun that is, but I ain't got the damn impact sockets because I cleaned everything out for the uh, vacation to Connecticut. And I didn't put the sockets back in. Actually, I can't even remember where they at. Cause normally they'd be under my seat. So I cleaned it up. I cleaned it up and shit, I don't even remember where they at. So uh, they're gonna come out here with a few sockets. Then I can take this tire off. And uh, yeah, take that off. And then look how I, I use my trick to get this up off the ground. Yeah, I think I hit this curb, man. Right where, uh, Right where you leave that shop and get on uh, I-20. I cut it, it's tight as hell cause it's a, a boulder. It's a barrier. Like when you make the turn, you only got so much room or you're gonna be in the big cement wall.
So I kind of hit the curb back there going a little faster than I probably should have been. And uh, then from there to here, which is probably a couple of miles, it just started unraveling. I started seeing that stuff right there come out. And I was like, what the hell? So, um, yeah, they're gonna bring me some sockets. We'll swap it out. And then, uh, man, we'll get back on the road. Hopefully we won't have no other issues. So I'll cut y'all back on at some point. <laughs> I appreciate it, brother. Lifesaver. I owe you one. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Only difference is this tire ain't a 10, it ain't a 14 ply. It's a good tire. It's fairly new. It's fairly new. And it's got air. It's good to go. But it ain't that 14 ply like that. So we got room above them, so we good. Alright, let's get it delivered. Big shots out to my man David. Now we ready to rock and roll, man. Nothing worth stressing over. We good, we safe. Let's hit the road. Two hours later. All right, y'all, we are out here. DQ grilling, chill. We got us some vittles, man. Got us some good food. We got to tell y'all about this day that we done had. Y'all seen earlier in the footage, I had to blow out, uh, put the spare on. Oh, shots out to my big homie, Mike, too. He the one uh, gave me two really, really nice tires. And I end up putting one on my spare, which is now the one that I put on. But it's really, really nice, has some good tread. It's not quite a 10 ply tire, but it's nice and it's holding up. Mike gave me that. So shout out to big homie Mike for that. But uh, yeah man, tell them, tell them, so tell them what, what you went through today. I went to sit still. <laughs> I don't make no money sitting still. Uh, got to the location, uh, the truck was supposed to be running, have keys, get the only one person working at this facility, and he on lunch. Damn. So I had to sit there and wait on him to finish lunch, which he didn't know how long his lunch was gonna be. So he finished his lunch, came outside. Uh, I think I might let you go inside and load it up. I'm like, I could have been dead that. Yeah. So we get inside, uh, discovered that it did have keys, even though he thought it didn't. Put a jump box to it, try to crank it, it turned over, but we start. Had to use the winch, winch it up, lock it in, and shoot. I had to slow walk KG on 20. Yes, sir. I left before him, and he he caught me because he'd be flying about 80. Hey, also, it ended up being an F350. Yeah, man. Which it's not the That's it's rare. not the, the buyer's fault because I didn't ask, was it a 253? It just looks like a 250. I mean, if you look at it, it's a 250. Yeah. And uh so the auction won't load 350s. If y'all yeah. ever uh, the offset of the weights. Yeah, if y'all ever pick pick up at uh Mannheim or uh Copart, typically they don't they don't load F three fifties or four fifties. Unless you got a flat deck. Ah. See if you got if you got a So he would have put it on mine. Yeah, he would put it on yours. Oh, okay. Okay. Because he wouldn't do it. Okay. Cause he, cause he can get it from the side, but yeah. My in the well, my co part out there told me they wouldn't load uh, a certain vehicle once before, and I had the flatbed. So mm. maybe, you know, maybe they just. Depending on the, the, the yeah. operator. Yeah. So, but yeah, so you we end up waiting. Matter of fact, first things first, it wasn't even as far oh, as we yeah, went. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, the, the, we, didn't, we didn't have the specific information on which co part to go to. We just knew Birmingham. Because that's what he said. Yeah. He said, the guy told me. Birmingham co part. Let me turn this around. So yeah, the guy told me Birmingham Copart. So that's what we typed in and that's just what we're I went to Birmingham, the location that I went to, he went to Copart, and it turned out it was what would you say? Irondale, minutes? about eighteen miles. About eighteen miles shorter. Shorter. So he literally well, I bypassed the spot where he I bypassed. Went. He didn't have to go all the way to Birmingham. Yeah. But luckily it wasn't further than Birmingham. It was on the way back. Yep. So he went on a shot over there. Y'all saw us loading mine. So we loaded that one and uh then I had the flat. He was still dealing with his situation. So he got his, uh, got it put on there and put the straps on and shoot. And that, it all worked out. Now, now we, yeah. We probably, I'm like two hours and, I think it was like two hours and 18 minutes from the house. Yeah. Uh, you probably about the same delivery, or yeah, not, the not quite. I think about an hour to deliver. About an hour to deliver and then, then shoot back to the house. Or, or you gonna go back and get oh, the- Oh yeah, I gotta go get that one and take it to the Yeah, cutter. yeah. And then the crazy thing is, for this thing right here, man, 
whoever was supposed to be taking it off, the, I guess the buyer of this body, I don't know if he's using a rotator tow truck or what, he really didn't say, but they're not available uh, at the time that I'm gonna be coming, which before we stopped, I was gonna be there right around five and now they're not available. So I'm gonna have to take this thing, I'm gonna have to pass the delivery, go home about 45 minutes, bring it back in the morning and then drop this off and pick up. I got like three other vehicles that I was supposed to get today after I dropped this one off before we had our time wasted with the blowout and all yeah. that stuff. So it yeah, works out, if man. It for the hiccups, man. It would have been a real Oh, nice yeah, day. yeah. It's still a good money making day, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still a money making day. Mm -hmm. So he ended up having to use the wind. Uh, did we say that it don't, did it even start? Yeah, we, just, we said no, that. It just turned over. Yeah, it turned over, but didn't start. So uh, we told the uh, client that he got to have to pay extra for the winds fee. So, um, he'll end up making even more. So it's gonna work out. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah it's not bad at all. Getting it done, man. Stay ready. Yeah. 10 toes down. Right. Making yeah, it so good, we good. in there, man. So we're gonna get out of here. I'll probably cut the camera on tomorrow sometime when we deliver and shoot, we'll be good to go. So, uh, guess y'all stick around, man, and we'll be back. Do what it do, man. We in this thing. We at the delivery out here, Monroe, Georgia. They got themselves a rotator. Let me show y'all. Gonna get that mug off with an old rotator. I'm trying to find some hookup points. The front has uh, some hookup points, but the back doesn't really have anything, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. See that one right there? We got the shackle through it on both sides. So they're trying to figure out where they're gonna hook it in the back. And then uh, they're gonna lift up. And I'll drive out from under it and I guess they'll sit something else under there. Where's the dog in there? I don't know where it's going though. Big boy right here though. Yeah, it's always an advantage to uh, unload in the daylight. So last night, uh, I guess these people were the, were the ones supposed to take it off, but they were busy from four to seven for a prior engagement. So uh, I was gonna get there right at five, but once I found that out here, me and Ken decided to get something to eat. And uh, I just bring it today. Instead of waiting till you know, after seven last night in the dark, and then having to unload however long that this takes, and then drive home, which is 40 minutes from here. So, just decided to take it home and bring it right back this morning. And then I got two vehicles after this, but uh, just some small minor stuff, probably won't film that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this thing off of here, and this job gonna be done, man. This is uh, really haven't uh, really haven't looked and decided what the invoice is gonna be, but it's gonna be around fourteen hundred dollars for this move, maybe more. Um, we got a good relationship, me and the people who uh, ship this do a lot of business together, so uh, I try to take care of them when I can. How often do you use this rotator? Every day? A bit, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so thank you for that, don't you? It look like it's chopping, man. Hopefully it ain't recording like that, y'all. Every time I move it, it feels like it's jumping. Got the GoPro over there too, getting some footage.
All right. Sounds like a player. Pull up a little bit. You wonder what? Oh, uh, yeah, they. Let me get. Yeah, they got nails. Let me get them little ones. Let me get them. You can get these. It's too bulky for me. All right, there we go. It's a job well done and another job completed. Get on up out of here. I like all these tools that they use right here. Eight foot ropes, soft uh, tie, stuff to uh, make sure the paint don't get chipped up. Big wrecker, man. This is nice. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. It's the end of this one. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, but I got things to do. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. They're going to load it on the land all, y'all. Got some bonus footage right here. That might be, that might be what I need to get right there, man. That land all and call it a day. Take them both down there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, it still probably would have saved them some money. I just hauled two trucks down there for Dang. Oh, now, now I'm picking up what you're putting down. Where about you from? Athens? Well, Winterville, east side. Look at that low angle, man. There you go, now you're on the wood.
be enough room. Oh, dude, you gotta let it down and drive it forward some more. That is badass. Oh, yeah, nah, he can't. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It's not a flat deck. Green body got to go in there too because it's getting mounted on this truck. with 1.2 million miles. What you, how'd you get all the miles? Long distance moves or was yeah. it like an over the road truck? It's over the road truck. I still, I still drive it over the road. I took it to Delaware two months ago. Yeah. Decided to spin it around since the tailgate has more weight on it. They say them Landau tires. 
they'll blow out quick with super super weight on right on top of the tires so they're gonna put the tailgate up front well closer up front get the weight in front of the tires that's a main setup right there That's a main setup right there, man. Oh, that's nice, eh? Dang. Yeah, that's nice. right there. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Hello, boy, work today. I was so loud. He deserves it. Though. Yeah. helping them set the wood properly but they got it nice little load there says going down to south georgia that's going to be loaded on that and it'll be a new trash truck all right we out of here hope y'all enjoyed that